So, here we have poor red. Poor red will be our guinea pig today. Um, we have to recovery boot him into 0 0.9.0 0, and we will do that by pressing his back button while he is on the charger. Yeah, no fear boy. Uh, for 15 seconds. Um, you can see when that um, is finished, when the green light starts to... Um, lights up again so we will do that now so pressing it shuts down press it keep it pressed still keep it pressed 15 seconds are not gone the light lights up again you release and now he will boot into recovery mode that will take a little time the lights go blue, that's normal. We wait. We have to be patient. It will take a little longer. Now he's booting. And we already see the old Anki.com slash V screen. He has not finished booting. Ah, he has finished. Okay, now um, we have recovery rebooted our vector to the firmware 0 0.9.0 and on his screen you should see um, his name vector w4p1 in my case and ankycom slash v now we have to open a browser and go to project victor.org slash noflow dev setup slash html slash main htm i will uh, add this address in the video description. So now we have to pair with our vector and that is basically the same uh, that you do if you um, set him up with the app. So you press his, you put him in the charger, press his back button two times and uh, you will then see a key symbol and then we press pair with vector. As I told you it's W4P1. Connect it may be that he will just connect. Okay, um, you will see an input um, to enter the number that is shown on his screen when uh, trying to connect. This robot already was connected um, to Vector Web Setup, so uh, he was remembered by the Bluetooth um, connection and uh, I did not have to enter the um, pin again. But in your case, you will see uh, a field where you have to enter the number that is shown on vector screen. Nothing difficult that will work. This works way better than it does with the app. Okay, now let's type status. And we see we have a connection to the robot. Uh, we have no Wi-Fi connection. Um, and he shows us his current firmware version. Now we need to connect him to Wi-Fi. Let's type help and if we scroll up a little you see there's a command called Wi-Fi connect. With this command in this console we co can connect him to Wi-Fi. So let's scroll down again and then we will type here Wi-Fi minus connect. That's the actual command and then the name of your uh, Wi-Fi SSID that's basically your uh, Wi-Fi name. Mine is the Matrix 2 and after that you have to enter the password of your Wi-Fi. So let's press enter. 
This will take a time. On vector screen, you will now see a blinking uh, Wi-Fi symbol, and he is connected. Let's check via status. And we see he's now connected to the matrix 2. Great. That means we can now update the firmware to the escape pod version. And the way to do that is the command OTA start that is shown here. And uh, you will use the command and then tell him a URL to an uh, to a firmware that you will put onto that you want to put onto the robot. Okay, let's go to Wirepod GitHub where um, the address to the firmware can be found. I just select everything here and copy it, and then go back to Vector Web Setup and paste it. And you can see OTA start and the address to wire server and the escape pod version 1.8 OTA. Uh, escape pod 1.8. Of course, everything is an OTA. That's what a firmware also is called over the air update. Okay, and if we press enter here, um, hopefully the update will start. We have a progress bar. Your robot now on a screen shows a cloud with rotating arrows. And we will wait a second here. And we see that the progress bar mm, progresses. This will take some time. This, um, How fast this will go depends on um, the speed of your internet connection. Uh, I have a 100 Mbit line and it takes about a minute. I will increase the speed here and will come back to you when this is finished. Okay, some more words while we are waiting uh, for this to finish. You will have to use Chrome as the browser for this, um, because in other browsers the Bluetooth stack, the web Bluetooth stack, will most probably not work, and you will have to use uh, Windows or Mac OS to do this. Um, it may work on Linux, but um, usually it does not. So it, it's very frustrating to try this on Linux. So I suggest you do it on um, Windows or on a Mac. Um, just borrow one from a friend if you are a Linux person. Okay, and it's uh, nearing completion now. And it's finished. And uh, immediately you will see that your vector is rebooting and it will now boot into the firmware we just put on the little guy. And that is the escape pod 1.8. We can only use um, 1.8 for this, unfortunately, because there is no escape pod OTA, no official escape pod OTA for 1.6. I also would prefer that, but unfortunately it is not possible at this time, maybe in the future. But don't hold your breath, it may be very difficult to, to do that. Okay, I already saw clouds on the screen of my vector, so this boot should be finished soon. Okay. And he looks at me. So now he already is connected to my wire pod. Um, we can do a little test. Hey, Vector. Question. Who is Darth Vader? Darth Vader is a fictional character in the Star Wars franchise. 
and you hear that works and you m probably have already heard the others other vectors uh, in the back that also answered to the question and uh, at least one of them said i didn't get that as usual so you see that is not really difficult to do you just have to connect your vector to um, vector web setup and then um, with the commands I showed you, you will have to connect him to your Wi-Fi uh, using your Wi-Fi SSID, that's the Wi-Fi name, and your Wi-Fi password. And after that, you use the command OTA start with the URL from uh, the Wirepod GitHub to pull the um, escape pod firmware from the web and put it onto your vector. After that he reboots and then you will have a vector that is connected to your local wirepod. Hey vector, I have a question. Who is Darth Vader? So that's it. Um, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to um, put them in the comments under the video. Thank you and bye for now.